No matter how hard I try, I can't pull off this look or whatever. Uh, the male woman just came to the door and I answered it and it was just, yeah. change we had a lot planned today it's gonna be lit oh I can't wait I'm gonna help my band set up well not my band I'm gonna help the band I'm helping set up and have a great time I'm gonna feed the momos I may or may not do a knife review I'm not sure I'm waiting for the blowback for my mod video to settle down I fixed something I've been hyped for and it cost me about $800 to get because of the branding yeah I don't know what to tell you guys you know I've touched a lot of grails and I've got to say this is the one I've been the most excited for I'll be doing a review on this in a few days, but this is exclusive through uh, Supreme and you know even Polytheus doesn't even have the capabilities of getting this knife on his hands. You know, I'm, I'm proud just to have it to be honest, but uh, here's the limited run, extremely rare Supreme Ballast. <laughs> uh, I'm a hype beast, so... <laughs> No one's gonna know this because this happened before I started vlogging. I had the opportunity to cop a legit stock mint condition Microtech Tattoo Bowie. That's the full name. I sold it and I gave it away in a package deal along with the Benchmade 43 and I've regretted it ever since I sold that knife. It's like I know I'm going to regret this and I chose money and profit over one of the best flippers I've ever flipped. Yeah. I'm gonna do an in-depth review on this knife in the coming days, weeks, at some point. But right now I have to clean up this mess. Alright, we're sound checking. Again, I don't know how much I can vlog in there. It's gonna be really loud, but I'm gonna try to get a bunch of footage for you guys. ISO is completely destroyed. We out here. Alright, the set's almost done. I shot some B-roll in there. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now, but the night's just getting started. Set just finished. What are my GR people? I take a piss. It's lit though. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Just Pipkin, say hi to the vlog, dude. Say hi. What's up? How's it going? Pipkin's the shit. Look at Run. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna have a kickback here. It should be interesting, but I have to clean up before people start arriving. I think it's gonna be a sausage twist. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm starting to do a knife review. I'm gonna do a knife review probably like tomorrow or some shit. I don't, I don't know. Still have people at my house. I came up <clears throat> on Berkeley Review Books. I don't know if you know about like study materials or anything, but Berkeley Review is like hella rare. To the point where like the chick that like let me borrow these, like I have to give them back after I finish because she's gonna sell them because they're like rare as fuck. I've been trying to cop them. I can cop like high caliber knives, but I, I, I couldn't cop the Berkeley Review. And I, I think it's hella tight. So shout out to Hedden, my like favorite Korean chick, for the plug. Cause it's like, bruh. I'd have an easier time getting like an ELB or appealing these than these fucking books. They're hella tight. Yeah, it's fucking lit. It's about 8 in the morning. I can't fall asleep. But my stomach hurts, I need food, but I most certainly need coffee. Well, the show went well. For some reason, I just can't fall asleep. It's almost 9 right now. I have to Loctite my TAC 2, and I think that today's video is going to cover how to properly Loctite a knife. <laughs> Let's lock tight this tack too. I cut this magnetic dish off of uh, Amazon. Seems to work pretty well. Take your paint thinner. 
and the bottom. Into the paint thinner. Once you have your components inside of your paint thinner, you should give it a little shake and you let it sit for like two hours or something like that. Side note on Loctite, you need to get this. Come on, come on. Blue 242. The red stuff, you can't take it apart. I literally cannot shoot on that piece of shit. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Anyways, when you're shaking your solvent, you should start to see like little black specks and that is the grease kind of forming droplets, collecting and aggregating with the grease and then floating to solution. And if there's gunk that persists, take a toothbrush that you don't use and just kind of scrub it very lightly while using more paint thinner to kind of just clean it off. The purpose of this is to clean off all of the oil, the lubricant, because if you have oil between the metal and the Loctite, the Loctite will not take and you'll be wasting that dreaded 24 hour wait, wait period. All right, I've waited like 20 minutes. I'm gonna empty this out and uh, clean off the gunk. The pivots, the outside of the pivots, not that big of a deal. I just like to keep them clean. Same in the washers. Not a big deal if there's gunk on those. This is what really matters. Once the pivot is in, take a little paper towel. You're just gonna take it, and you're gonna just clean out this pivot a little bit. Not chill. Yeah, that'll block Loctite easy. The other side, you wanna just twist it into the pivot kind of like that. Just keep twisting it, it'll eventually start screwing into the pivot itself. You know, now it's like in there. Keep going. To clean off the screw, I just do that. I screw it into the paper towel, and all that gunk comes off. Now you have a clean pivot. Now most people to put too much Loctite on there. I literally just run the tip on it. it kinda taps them out. That's as much Loctite as you need. Now, on replicants, I love bushing so much. On replicants, when you screw it in, sometimes the pivot will keep twisting and you can't get this as tight as you would like it to be. When that happens, open the handle, grasp the handles like this really tight, and then twist it and it'll be fine. Now the last thing you have to do is wait 24 hours. It sucks, but you know, that, that's just the way it is. That, that's Loctiting, you know? Gotta pay to play.